and welcome to Brandy's Poetry Corner, reading from Grandchildren of Albion, a collection of poems from 1992, edited by Michael Horowitz, who is still a wonderful human being, and featuring a lot of um, left field, alternative and radical poets. Um, I have actually read a poem before by John Cooper Clark, and I won't I can hear, I can always hear him reading his own poems. I am not going to do that because that would be ridiculous. But I couldn't resist one because it's called Salome Maloney. It has a little illustration. I will show you the little illustration. There you are, that's Salome Maloney, presumably. So this is Salome Maloney by John Cooper Clark. Clark. John Cooper Clark. I was walking down Oxford Road, dressed in what they call the mode. I could hear them spinning all the smash hits at the mecca of the modern dance, the Ritz. Feet foxtrots, shoulders did the shimmy. The bouncer on the door said, gimme, gimme, gimme. I gave him the ticket. He gave me the shits. No healthy argument. It's the Ritz. Standing by the sick machine, who did I see? In Lurex and Terraline, she hypnotised me. I asked her name and she said, It's Salome Maloney, El Supremo of the Ritz. Lacquered in a beehive, her barnet didn't budge. Wet look, lips smiled as sweet as fudge. She had a number on her back, sequins on her tits, the sartorial requirement for women in the Ritz. A man making like Fred Astaire, spats and tails, Douglas Fairbanks moustache, dirty fingernails, whose chosen vernacular was subtle as the Blitz, Charlie MacDracula, the Phantom of the Ritz. Standing in the dandruff light, trying to get pissed, among the headlice old spice brute and body mist, how could she be seen dead dancing with that prick, and her being Salome El Supremo of the Ritz? A smart move, a dangerous curve, sent him arse over bollocks with a body swerve. He started with a cartwheel, finished in the splits, leaving Salome with his toupee in her mitts. Tables flew, bottles broke, the bouncers shouted lumber, the dummy got too chummy with a bingo Crosby num with a Bing Crosby number. The glass globe dropped, chopped the crowd to bits. Meanwhile, what was? Meanwhile, what about Salome of the Ritz? When the ambulances came, she was lying on the deck. She fell off her stiletto heels and broke her fucking neck. The band threw down their instruments. The management threw fits. She's dead. She don't bring the business to the Ritz. The over 21s night said it was a shame. The divorcee club will never be the same. Joe Loss said Mundo Ross and Vic Sylvester quit when the death dance drama did away with the Ritz. The last waltz wilts, the quick step stops. The lady's excuse me was permanently blocked. And Mecca make a living selling little bits of Salome Baloney in the wreckage of the Ritz. Thank you. Yes. A variety of language in that poem, but it was very funny. Um, not much like Strictly Come Dancing, is it? Things have changed, both from Salome Maloney and indeed 1992. For other poems read by me, look me up, Brandy Pearson, on YouTube.